Hello, and thank you for tuning in. You are tuned in to The Encourager, and my name is Nehru. We are back. Back again, again, again. Guess who's back, back, back. Tell your friends. <laughs> um, my spirit cries out. My eyes cannot anymore. <laughs> um, thank you so much for tuning in. You are tuned into The Encourager, and my name is Nehru. Uh, we are on to more of the journal discovering okay? and seeing what, and uh, we're up to a year out now, a year out from today. All right, so in the journal, we just started the month of June. We are about to start the month of June. Okay, this is beautiful timing. So for those of us who are new listeners, thank you so much, first of all, for sharing your energy and being a part of what is being done, not just through me, but through you as well. Confirmation, Bert, you are an active participant. Um, I always said in any sport that I participated in, I've always said, and this is my mentality as an adult, I was happy to help the Rock of Central Florida win their first of any sport trophy before I left in 2020. And we won that trophy in 2020. I was the pitcher for the softball team. Okay? And I was a part of the Rock for 20 years, new, new, new word listeners. But anyway, so with our journal, just so that you're aware, and there is a playlist if you want to take a look at the older uh, videos going back to the first journal that I shared, which covered 2014 to 2016, or 17, I'm sorry, 17, when I received the kidney transplant, then you can take a look at that playlist and go through that first journal, and then the majority of this one, and again, as I'm finishing up, I will be adding these videos to that playlist, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started and see what is going on. Uh, what was going on, what Most High was saying, what the universe was showing me, what Horace was giving me at the end, or excuse me, not at the end, uh, I was going to say at the end of the year, but a year ago. Um, all right, so the spirit cries out, my eyes cannot anymore, and uh, yeah, I've been feeling like that for some time at that point, point. Um, and again, through the dark night of the soul and all of that, I spent three days because of all of nonsense that was being done against me <clears throat> by the individual that I was dating at the time I did not know that she was in another relationship at the time she did not tell me that and she also lied about it and still hasn't come clean about it she still has never never reached out never contacted me nothing okay but I know that she was involved with someone else either when we started dating one another or at some point while we were still involved with one another, she got involved with someone and that someone was her downfall. That someone caused her to not ascend as she should have to be along for this journey with me as she should have been. Okay? But things happen the way they happen for a reason. Remember this, people. Rejection is protection rejection is protection so when someone tells you no it's okay and it really is true it's a sales it's cliche it's a sales whatever thing but you know the no is closer to a yes your last no puts you closer to a yes yes that's true but that's also true spiritually anything that rejects you is meant to reject you and there's a reason. So yesterday we took a look at the Villa of Ormen, or Ormen, not, oh yeah, Villa of Ormen, but Ormen the Spirit, O-R-M-E-N. That spirit is the same spirit in another, in another dimension and in another space and time that is Satan, Apophis, Beelzebub, Jezebel, Lucifer, however, Azazel, however you want to call, Pep, how, whatever, whichever deity you want to use, it's the same spirit. Still kill, destroy. Still kill, destroy. Still kill, destroy what? The truth. In any shape, form, or fashion, the truth. That is what that spirit is trying to do. 
So if you deal with alcoholism, that spirit is trying to destroy confirmation, three-time Olympic gold medalist something. So three, again, that was just a confirmation message that came up on the screen. Okay? So we have to be diligent, people. Okay? So I forgive as Christ forgave no longer bound by the limit limitations of this world 62123 dreamt i was singing to a beautiful lady represented by that woman and i'm not going to go into her story anymore but you can find her you can look her up you can see how stunning she is I knew her when we were children. We hung out, played basketball together. Yep. I know her mother. Know them well. Um, so she is represented by this beautiful woman. Okay. So what's interesting is... <laughs> Once I released my free will in regards to marriage and more children and all of that once I released my free will in regards to that because I had to release my free will because as I was going through these journals it's not just to share with you all it's not just to talk about myself because trust me trust me <laughs> I am what they call a reluctant leader okay so I lead but if given, and, and I am put out front, I've only been in jury, I've only been summoned for jury duty once. It was a murder trial, and I was voted for to be jury foreman by the other people there. It, it always happens that way. I was the platoon sergeant for the six weeks of, of the last eight weeks of basic training. My drill sergeant selected me to be promoted out of my graduating class of 400 and something cadets. I've always been pushed into leadership. I've, it's always just right. But me, I'm, I'm extremely introverted. And so my comfort place is actually alone and by myself. But I am here doing what I do because I've set my ego aside. And my ego is not telling me what to do. Okay. So people refuse to do what they need to do, walk away from things that no longer serve them. They refuse to make the changes, leave, relocate, resign, fire, whatever, apply, get hired, whatever. Right? People are afraid to do the things that they know they need to do for themselves because they are concerned about what other people around them think. That is the core reason why. They're afraid of what mommy thinks, daddy thinks, uncle, sister, brother, cousin, niece, nephew, whatever, whatever. Significant other concerned about what they're going to think. This is the number one reason why people stay where they are and refuse to change and become sticks in the mud. Okay? So... There is a secret admirer out there. Nikisha is married, by the way, so it's not literally her. <laughs> For those of you who are maybe thinking that, no, she's married, so it's not her, okay? But I know, and obviously Spirit knows, Spirit, I mean, Universe has, has created the physical being that she is. I mean, so Spirit knows how she looks. So spirit knows that that is someone that I consider to be very attractive, very beautiful. And if you can't say that about someone who's even a friend, I have very attractive friends. If you can't say that about your friends, really? Come on. And it not be weird or strange or uncomfortable. You should be able to say, I got, my friends are beautiful. My friends are handsome. My friends are hot. My friends are, yeah, you should be able to say that. And you shouldn't seek those types of friends 
you should feel that way about the friends you already have. Okay? 7523. Walking on bro oh walking on walking on broken glass. Do 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 walking on walking on broken glass. So someone felt like they were walking on broken glass. I didn't. Woke up hearing this song. That's a little painful, right? So something's painful. This process has been painful. That's for damn sure. A rabbit was in the yard in the morning and Sadie was going crazy. She was wanting to get out of the yard or get out of the house. <laughs> uh, I was not going to let you get the little rabbit, Sadie. That rabbit was in our yard for prosperity, fertility, and abundance. That's what a rabbit represents. So if you see rabbits... Your ancestors and the universe is letting you know that there is an opportunity for abundance and prosperity that either you need to prepare for, you need to get ready for, or is coming towards you because you are prepared for. Okay? That's what rabbits be. Okay? That's why the goddess Easter, which is a pagan god, by the way, is Easter translation. That's why that's a dumbass holiday to celebrate the birth of who? You're marrying the sea. Don't do that. Don't do that. The goddess Istre has nothing to do with Christos. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing to do with the Christos. Okay? Dream. 7823. Dream in a two store two-story house a lot of dreams about houses two-story house <clears throat> with confirmation uh, it said you renewed your cart something about a shopping cart something or other it said but you almost forgot it so something was almost forgot almost missed but you got it we got it we got it collective we got it people we got it we almost missed it but we got it because we relocated from Florida in August. <laughs> All right. Uh, two story house with many siblings and the sperm donor. Okay. He follows me everywhere, even when I have to pee. Okay. So yesterday in this journal, we saw <clears throat> also, I'm going to mention something when I, when I left, the house that we lived in in Apopka when I enlisted into the military, he told me something that day. But um, <clears throat> in our journal yesterday, we know uh, our journal. <laughs> in our journal yesterday, it is, um, we know that I had a dream also last year, like within a month of this one, that he was... He was chasing me around the house trying to whoop me, trying to discipline me or something, right? And that was just yesterday. We saw that on the previous page. Let me see. Yeah. And again, I can't find it right away. That's always the case, right? <laughs> Looking for something immediately, you can't find it. So, um... Yeah, and that's always how it is. And do you know why that is, by the way? Do you know why? It's because energetically, you're asking yourself, where is it? That's a true statement. Hopefully no brain circuits fried. But because you're energetically asking, where is it? You can't find it. That's why when you stop looking for it, it often shows up because you're not asking anymore, where is it? I'm helping someone right now. Okay? Including reminding myself. When you put it down, you turn the doorknob, and you're like, huh. And even Kevin said this to me one time. But you turn the doorknob, it doesn't open, take your hands off the doorknob. Stop trying to bust the door in. Okay? Um, but, um, in talking about that, 
him following me everywhere. He told me before I left for the military, for boot camp, Fort Knox, Kentucky, baby. Whoa, no co-ed there. Um, I was thankful for that because I wanted a full metal jacket experience. Um, and I, I'll forever say I should have went into the Marines. I don't know if I would have got out if I would have went. I would have because I'm obedient. But it would have been tougher. It was already tough to get out of the Army because <laughs> I loved it so much. But um, he told me when the recruiter came to the house to pick me up, we took a picture. And he said, um, remember, son, to keep your nose clean because there's always someone watching. I'll never forget that. I will never, ever, ever forget that. He told me that 30, next year, will be 30 years ago that he told me, son, keep your nose clean because there's always someone watching. He told me that. And here I am having dreams about him following me everywhere. Not a coincidence. Nine or seven, not or seven, nine, twenty-three. Why was that difficult? So she is a part of the Rock of Central Florida. Uh, she's one of the women whose son I sewed into for a year, as guided by Most High. Um, and so, as she was bringing him forth, he's a rainbow baby. As she was, uh, or a promised seed uh, from a rainbow baby that was sown. Okay, um, her and her husband sown sewed their first male uh, baby back to the universe okay and uh, shortly after birth and this one this male that came along Finley was their promised seed and so Most High on three different occasions instructed me to sow into three different families for their promised seed they were three they happened to be three males I didn't know this obviously Right, um, especially for one, until like halfway through the pregnancy, maybe I, I think I finally knew that it was a boy. I didn't know. I was buying her. I was buying the family girls' clothes. <laughs> um, so, um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So there's a dream about her, and I wasn't remembering it. Maybe it'll come up at some point in time in the future. So 723. Oh, by the way, I had stopped going to the Rock of Central Florida, new listeners. I had stopped going to the Rock of Central Florida a year prior. So in September of 2022, I stopped going to the place that Most High sent me to. 20 years ago, I started getting cassette tapes while I was at Fort Huachuca in Arizona in military intelligence school. Okay? Through my dear friend, Marsha. Okay? So, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, 7-11-23. Rabbit appearance in the yard again. Okay? See that smiley face? Very happy. It's just, a pro it's, pro it's just a reminder. The universe is saying, it's okay. We know what they did. We know where your name was mentioned in rooms that you will never enter. But we got you. We got you. We see you. And the prosperity is coming. <laughs> what? What? No. <laughs> That's... um. I'm just, I'm a little tickled right now, but, um, yeah. Um, Larry Graham sings a song, One in a Million. I was a lonely man within to arms, with empty arms to fear. Then I found a piece of happiness to call my own. Life is worth living again For to love you to me is to live Oh, 
one in a million chance of a lifetime life show compassion and send to me a stroke of love on you a one in a million you so I don't know who you are dream catcher dream lady <laughs> Dream lover, come rescue. I could go on and on anyway. <laughs> so that's why I was laughing because most I was like, scan back over there and start sing and sing that song. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> 7 and 13, 23. I can't get I. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interview for opportunity in Hawaii today. Relocation and sign on bonus available. So, very interesting. Okay? Very interesting. And that had to be a. Uh, dream vision or yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah that is, mm, I don't know I wrote it down <laughs> interesting I've never been to Hawaii um, a lot of people in the military request to be stationed in Hawaii I never did I did want to be stationed in Japan and that was the only way that I would stay in for a fourth re-enlistment. I wasn't going to stay in otherwise, or first, fourth enlistment. But, Most High Universe had other plans anyway. Dream. After taking a nap, I awake to two semi-trucks in front of the house. Neither to the right Oh, neighbor to the right, sorry, neighbor, to the right, was burned down, their house was burned down, whoa, he was laying, he was laying on the couch when I went to go check. I told him I closed my eyes for a nap and wow what happened so this was like me being like wide awake as I am right now and literally like just instantly passing out and going into some sort of some sort of trans I was gonna say translucent but trans paranormal esoteric like state right just like boom just like that like hypnotizing type of thing right and you have this vision because I'm asking the guy I, I just saw your house and it was fine I was wide awake and I just I took a nap 15 minutes what happened right okay so some maybe some astral some astral traveling or something uh, I know for me that happens, um, but perhaps you're experiencing it as well, okay. and recognizing it. Okay, I told him. Uh, okay, one semi was backed into my driveway, part of the garage. had been hit by the truck. The other truck was parked between our two houses but in the street facing the cross street. Uh, that probably sounds confusing. Sudden change is what that spoke to me. 
old things have passed away, all is new, suddenly. And that's how it's going to be. Go to sleep, wake up, all things new. And that's how it's going to be for many of us. If you, if you are due a monetary something, there's a possibility that you go to sleep, wake up, boom, you've just been multiplied times 500. So you got a couple more commas in your bank account. Right? Some, for some of us, that's how it's going to be. For some of us, it'll be a phone call again for those of us who are due any monetary inheritance or the universe has deemed you worthy of, of having successfully transmuted other energy, right, to ascend, that they will now transmute your ancestors and Horus and will, you, will transform that into natural wealth, okay? So spiritual wealth transferred into natural wealth. This is how it should be done. It is not meant to work by your brow. That's man's system. Man's system. That's man's way. How did Most High create the divine source, universe, how, whatever you want to call it? How did it create? It thought, and then it was. See, the Bible's a little convoluted actually quite a bit right? very watered down very 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 watered down okay so this, that, that Kool-Aid that, that religion sells you or gives you every week that almost has that almost has no sugar in it it's almost sugarless. What does that mean? It's not sweet. Spirituality, that's sweet. Recognizing synchronicities, that's sweet. You want to know what sweet is? Looking at your child's birth chart and seeing how they function and beginning to understand that they're not autistic, they're a genius. That right there, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And finding out through your own ascensions, how can I work with this beautiful being that I've been entrusted with temporarily who man says has ADHD but I know this spiritual being in front of me just needs to be handled with a certain level of love, care, concern just like I do right Um, very, very interesting. See, Tyra sent me a Facebook request. Why? Remember, I mentioned, so this is the youngest sister of the sperm donor. Again, she's nine months older than me, but she's my aunt because my grandmother had her when she was 48, a year younger than I am right now. Again, that sounds strange to man today, but I remind you of Sarah. And not just Sarah, but just in general, the, the ability and the possibility for miraculousness. Science is limited. Very limited. Science can't even cure what caused my acute and chronic kidney failure. Man couldn't even do that. Most high universe, they had to step in. Ancestors had to step in. Man couldn't even do that. And I'm just one being here. There are billions of others. Depending on man to fix them. I don't know. <laughs> um, 7.13 A rabbit in the yard for the third day in seven days. People, people, people. And I think this was the last day a rabbit showed up. I think it was just for those three days. That was it. There were so many birds, cardinals and blue jays and and um, uh, crows 
there is a grasshopper called a lobber grasshopper. Um, look up lobber grasshopper and find out the spiritual significance of them. They stand for abundance and they literally transform as a grasshopper does, or excuse me, as a caterpillar does into a butterfly. A lobber grasshopper, transform, its, its transformation is nearly as impressive from infancy into adult. It's miraculous. You should definitely take a look at that process. Okay, If you are going through this journey, and if you're listening, you probably are. I mean, I couldn't imagine somebody sitting through what I'm sharing just for kicks. I, I can't imagine that. Okay, It's not entertaining unless it's interesting. Okay. Um, 7-14-23, numerous visions, scene one, in a building... A man finds me and says he is needing medical help, I believe, but he also appears drunk. There are two crutches attached to him. He holds a cup or container. He asks me if he... He asked me if he's crapped on himself. Hmm, interesting. I don't know why he would ask me that. Um, he he has. Oh, mm, <laughs> okay. And one of the crutches stuck to his jeans. I guess where his poop was. That's kind of. Then, or he, then, tries to put it on me, and I grab the other crotch. <laughs> oh, I grab him in a crotch, or I grab the other, <laughs> I grab him in, really, Kevin? <laughs> I grab the other crotch, and I knock him upside the head. Somebody's grabbing a crotch? Don't be grabbing my crotch. Anyway, um, and I knocked him down, right? He lays there as I walk away, okay? So somebody is trying to put something on me that does not belong to me or on me. And that's literally happening as we're speaking in the 3D legally. That was illegal, but legally, that's what the investigation is about. Someone coming, people coming after me with ill intent, whether that's to unalive me through the Scorpio or other means. The Scorpio might have received money because of this unalignment, of an unalivement contract. The, the, the sperm donor doing witchcraft against me and causing this disease that, that most high got the glory for because it's 7717 resurrection kidney transplant day. Like all of these things. And again, those of you who are on this timeline, you can relate. You know that you have been through some hellish shit. Mothers doing witchcraft against their daughters and sons and sons and fathers against their sons and daughters, etc. Uncles and nieces and nephews and false birth certificates and all. We've been through it. Through it. Divine masculines and divine feminines. We've been through it, earth angels, healers, empaths. Alchemists, we've been through it. Pleiadian star seeds, we've been through it. But victory is assured if we stay the course. It's assured if we stay the course. Okay. Um, don't let anybody put any. Listen, listen. I'm gonna say this just like this. Okay, and pun intended. Don't let anybody put shit on you that don't that ain't yours. If it ain't your shit, don't let nobody put it on you. Don't let nobody put shit on you that ain't yours. Say this, that shit don't belong to me. Literally and figuratively say it. That shit don't belong to me. That ain't my shit. <laughs> say it. Scene two. I am a place that has multiple... 
I in a place that has I am a place that has multiple floors. I am in a place that has multiple floors. The the it's just amazing sometimes the things that we say and it's floors but is um Bo, oh, but it's commercial. Okay, okay. Faces from the Rock of Central Florida are there again. I left that place almost a year ago prior to this vision. Or, yeah, prior to this vision. Okay. Are there. Amongst others. David, he's someone who's at the Rock of Central Florida. Is knocking on a door eventually he's at the rock of central florida comes out pissed and throws a box of gifts of gifts on the floor angrily he says there are the presents i was a roommate with this guy right here I was a roommate with him before he got married to his now wife. We were roommates in Sanford, um, in a house, and uh, that was in Lake Mary, and then in the, uh, apartments that were in Sanford. Okay. Um, where did we leave off? Oh, so he throws the presents on the ground angrily and says, "There are the presents." Or did I miss a word? Did I miss? Oh, next page. I'm so used to the right page not being used for my personal stuff. I use it for other things. Um, gifts. Very angry. The box busts as he throws it down and he storms back into the other room. I believe. He was working on music or cars. Okay, so he's he's definitely a musician. He writes songs. He plays multiple instruments. He's a phenomenal drummer. Um, yeah, he's just his his entire family. Literally, the entire family are ridiculously musically inclined. Ridiculously. I mean, they're they're that music gene from whatever deity that is involved with all of that for their bloodline is huge, huge. They've all been on the worship team at the Rock in same, some shape, form, or fashion at some point in time. All of them, including their parents. Okay, there's, I say all of them, but it's only four of them, but yeah. Okay, and two of them, four, three of them still are. Okay, or at least last I checked, three of them still um, many people are there. I leave behind two women and a girl. I walk to one, one car that I, that I know belongs to, oh, so he is my eldest daughter's uh, other grandfather, okay, the one that she lived with for 13 years because her mother, that's where she left her. I didn't know she existed, but her mother left her there when she had her. And when I found out she was, I found out that, you know, that I had a daughter, I went and got her and like, no. It's not the grandparent's job to raise the child unless the parent is unavailable or somehow, some way, unable to. But her mother makes six figures a year. There's no reason why her mother can't take care of her. Just, just, it was easier to leave her where, where she was, right? So, um, I wasn't going to have that. Um, there is, and by the way, <clears throat> Philip does not go. He's Army Two Hole. He does not go to the Rock of Central Florida. Okay, but he's there in his dream. There is a liquor bottle 
and a cup on the passenger floorboard. And he is a drinker. He drinks... all day and and interestingly enough he functions i mean he literally he's a red soul up cup guy sun up sundown and he still works and he's in his late 70s he still works eight days a week yes he does yes he does there's something about a real soldier they're not made they're born there's something about a real one you can tell them apart from the manufactured ones there's something about them they work different the mentality is different. You can tell a real one. Oh, it was a cup bourbon whiskey. Oh, I don't know if he drinks that. <laughs> um, I get in a car to drive away, but the car will only start once it is moving like a manual transmission so those of you who know manual transmission cars you can jump start a car right so you can push a car if it's manual and it won't start it's just turning over you can push start that car if it's a manual transmission right so that's what I was speaking of okay I disappeared into the night okay scene three on a bus full of people some familiar crossing a bridge we go down a steep decline and going back up the bridge the bus flips upside down excuse me the bus the bus in another part of the vision oh has a second passenger bus compartment attached like semi trucks with two trailers. Oh, okay. So, very again, very interesting. Not sure what it means. It will be known eventually. Scene four, and then all this is in the same night or same day. At a large building, again, like an auto repair shop. Okay. I wonder how will I get home realizing I was far away and have no money or vehicle. Everyone congregates outside, starts playing various games, okay? There are dogs there, and it's friendly. I join in the fun while thinking about how I will get home. I decide I am okay with sleeping on one of the benches for the night. Hmm. I'm peaceful about it. I wake up as we all continue to play oh with beach balls and uh, and other things the Blue Jays were pleasant present that day as well so that's interesting so this could speak to a couple of things this could speak to where I am right now so where, how am I going to get home? So I will tell you, and I'm not saying how, because I'm not asking the question how. That is that is probably the worst question to ask the universe. Okay? Is how. 
how is not important and neither is that your concern in the 3D. And again, I had to learn this. I am a solo artist to the core. Business owner, 13 years, did not hire an employee. Even though I should have, because I burned myself out. And, that's, and I'm not a micromanager, definitely not. You give me a task to do, you don't have to worry about me, you don't have to come check on me, you just sit right there and wait until I bring the finished product back to you. That's how I function. You give me the order, sir, yes sir, ma'am, yes ma'am, whatever, right? I don't, you don't have to tell me twice. Again, real soldiers are born, they're not made, okay? So, those of you, again, who are there, you are like that too, right? You're not someone who compromises your integrity uh, or, or easily um, duped or misled. Someone has to come with strong whatever to convince you to go along with whatever they're saying, okay? And I am, I am that way as well. It takes a lot uh, and I couldn't even say a lot. I'm just not a dishonorable dis I'm, I'm just not I'm not that way. I'm just not. okay? But this points to being here and not knowing how I'm going to get home, home meaning where I belong. with whoever Nikisha was representing in that dream. That's where home is. Okay? That's where home is. So that's what that reference is for. Okay? And that's where I am today. So, <clears throat> and I learned this. I asked Most High, I said, so, um, I asked about a timeline of some sort. I asked, I don't know. He said, in a few days. And this is recently. And I was like, oh, okay. oh, in a couple of days. And I was like, oh, okay, two days. He was like, no, five. So, again, you have to think with a mind beyond the one that's actually floated, floating in your skull. Okay? Yes, your cerebellum and... Um, Cerebral, yeah, all important and very key, actually, spiritually speaking, but that's getting into maybe a little bit of metaphysics and all of that, and that's for later down the road, okay? Once we understand that we are the walking spirit of crystals, once we understand that, and that, again, everything around us is just another form of us, once we understand that, then we can move into some other things. But we first have to get this confirmation with whatever that rumble was. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> um, so, let's continue. And it's 48 minutes. I'll probably stop here. I don't know what's on the next page. This could be my thoughts. That was interesting. So, okay, so, and again, she is a doctor. She's a renal, renal, or a pediatric renal doctor over in Orlando, Florida. Um, and uh, dated her, and everything was fine. The only issue was, I say everything was fine, then the only issue was, that's kind of contradicting. So, let me correct that. So, I was not healed when we started seeing each other. And perhaps things would have been gone well, because we definitely got along. She's a Sagittarius, 11 or 12, 12, three or four, her birthday is something like that, 12, three, four, somewhere around there, right? 
So she's a Sagittarius. I get along best with Leos and other Sagittarius. Aquarius, I get along very well with. Mm. What other signs? Pisces, I get along well with. Yeah. Um, so, and that's general, obviously. It's an individual thing. Obviously, I've met... I can, I can truly say, the only Scorpios that I know today, let me think about this for a minute, that I know that have never ever done anything negative that affected me. Let me think, let me see if I can think of one. And my grandfather, the sperm donor's father is a Scorpio. Nope. Every Scorpio I know today well, no, that's not true. To my knowledge, I have friends from when I was at the movie theater that are Scorpios. They've never done anything to me, to my knowledge. And when I say to my knowledge, I mean like no evil eyes or jealousy or envy or, or, or manipulation or anything like that. Okay, so I have those friends from 30 years ago that have been faithful, right? Um, and... Uh, but, uh, yeah, to my knowledge, that's it. I know no adult that's been an adult my entire life that's a Scorpio that has never done evil against me. Or that I've met somewhere along the line that's not one of those teenagers that I met when I was 16. I don't know another one. And that's not to say all Scorpios are evil. Okay? but I know what they represent, 13 and death. Okay? So we allow them to fulfill their purposes for which they come into our lives. So, yeah, so that's what happened with Jennifer. Again, she wanted to move things forward. I just was not, I, I wasn't healed. I wasn't there. I, I really just wasn't. And that happened in 2022, actually. I've been celibate since that relationship. Okay? Um, and, uh, yep, in two months, that'll be two years. Okay. Um, sperm donor and I were actually having conversation happily. He expressed how proud or congratulating me. Again, interesting. Okay? So, I don't know. Other than, damn, you spiritually strong as hell, I don't know what his thoughts are of me. And that's putting, that's being honest. And you could say the same thing for your karmics today. Other than, damn, he or she is strong as hell. I didn't, or heaven, however, right? Um, why, why do people always put hell in, in front of heaven? Like, hell is stronger than heaven. Like, what the hell? Like, that's dumb as hell. That's fly as hell. Like, it, both good and bad is hell. Like, why is that in society? Why is that? Anybody ever ask that question? <laughs> it's just how, just, how, just how my whatever works. Whatever is in me, those gears. So, thank you so much for tuning in as always. Um, he's never been, he's never, to my knowledge, he came to my boot camp graduation, obviously high school graduation. He probably said, I'm proud of you in those moments, maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but I do know that he's told my siblings that I was the most obedient one out of all of them. Okay? Which is to say that I was the goodest. I was the bestest. Okay? And my goal is not to be the best. My goal is to be the truest. That is my goal. Okay? Confirmation with whatever this message is. Ooh. Good. Goddess something. Goddess. Goddess. Maybe this is something someone wants to go listen to. Let me see. I don't want to pause the, I don't want to stop the video. Give me just one moment. Let me pause the video and see what this is in case it's pertinent. 
Oh, it must have been a, um, a YouTube notification for something. It was Goddess. I did not catch the last part of it, but it was Goddess something. So something about something about a goddess, God, goddess, emperor, empress. We know it's all happening, right? We know it's all happening. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, we all know it's happening. Death to the Devil, we all know it's happening. Okay? So thank you so much again, as always, for tuning in. My name is Nehru. You've been tuned in to The Encourager. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can do so via email at TheEncourager333 at Gmail. Okay? If you would like to contact or keep in touch with me or connect to me, on any other social media platforms, all of those links will be in the description uh, section of the video. And yeah, so let's go ahead and continue to pay attention to the synchronicities. I posted a video a moment ago. I walked two blocks to the store, and there was there were six synchronicities in me walking. I probably missed many. There were six synchronicities in a two block, me walking, in two blocks. The receipt, something I picked up off the ground that I was guided to, I walked past it and most of I was like, universe was like, go pick that up. And I picked it up, it's a boarding pass. Okay? Seat number 7D, group eight, American Airlines. Okay. I hope this is resonating with others of you who are listening and tuning in. Feel free to let me know if, if it is. Uh, and if you do not want to share whatever information that it is that you would like to share publicly, again, you could use that email address that is included in the description section of the video. Thank you again, as always, subscribers. Sending love and great strength to you as iron sharpens iron, and um, we continue to ascend and grow and, and change the vibration to a better place uh, here in the realm that we are uh, have been birthed into this time around, okay? Be of encouragement always.